Well, Cyclocross friends, and thanks for tuning in to the CX Heat Check Power Rankings. I know, it's, it's a little different. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But hey, we have one weekend of UCI racing under our belt, so it's time to put the algorithm back to work. For those new here and are unfamiliar with how this works, we have devised a sophisticated algorithm that takes into account a multitude of finely tuned statistics, analytics, and benchmarks to build the only cyclocross power rankings that matter starting with the women and starting with number 11. The 11th spot, it's the wild card. It can be the rider who makes it in for certain goals reached during the past weekend, a rider who wins out over equally matched riders in the top middle of the field, or even someone making the list out of pure reputation. And that's what's happening here. Leading us off is Clara Hansinger. Once the two-time and current national champ toes the line, we will know for sure where she stands against her fellow competitors, but for now, She's been winning in the Pacific Northwest mud in some season opening races, and she's earned a place in the conversation even without racing. The wishy-washy out of the way, let's get to the 10th spot, and it goes to Lauren Zerner. And now we really get into the meat of what happened in Rona, Virginia and Virginia's Blue Ridge Go Cross. Zerner makes a conversation on the strength of a ninth place in the C1 and an eighth place in the C2, but she solidifies the spot because Grandma Alice Zerner is a CX Hair super fan, and that will always work in the algorithm's favor. Ninth place, Anna Magali finished seventh both days, consistent performances that should have her trending upwards. The A spot in the Heat Check Power Rankings goes to Hannah Aronsman. Tenth in the C1 and a great fifth place finish in the C2. But, but here's the deal, we're challenging Aronsman right now to finish the heat check at a higher ranking than where she sits in her own family power ranking. Right now, right now, she's fourth out of nine children. I don't think that's changing. The goal for her is to get higher than that by the end of the season in the power rankings. Seventh place, it's the hometown heroine, Emily Werner. Nothing better than being able to roll out of bed, jump on your bike, and be on the start line 10 minutes later. Werner turned those extra Zs into a sixth place in the C1 and a ninth in the C2. The sixth spot on the heat check belongs to Magli Rochette. She topped the list on most people's preseason polls, in, including my own, but she's recovering from about a COVID, and then she followed that up with getting food poisoning, and, and then like 10 minutes after arriving at the go-cross venue, she got stung by a wasp, and, and then she went ahead and she got stung by a wasp a second time. It, it had her against her ropes before she even got to the start line. She literally gutted it out on day one, finishing in fifth place in the C1. On day two, she earned extra bonus points by putting in a stellar performance on the venue microphone. If you're an exec out there, cycling commentary, you need somebody new, Magli Rochette, get her, get her in a booth. And here we are at our CX Heat Check Power Rankings Top 5, the Wide Angle Podium subscribe become a member in fifth place it's lizzie gonzalez the new steve tilford foundation young one came out swinging in roanoke with an eighth place finish in the c1 and fourth in the c2 at 19 years old she was the highest ranked young rider in each go cross race the fourth place spot goes to caitlin bernstein a rock solid start to the weekend with a fourth place in the c1 and a sixth place in the c2 Bernstein is helping the new Nice Bikes UCI team quickly integrate itself into the conversation. And talking about integrating yourself into the conversation, Austin Killips kept the Nice Bikes team rolling with a pair of third place finishes at GoCross, which puts her firmly on the third step of the CX Heat Check Power Rankings. And now to our top two. And there's really not much calculating necessary to figure these spots out. Two riders dominated the weekend. The second of those two is Raylan Nuss. She battled hard each day and did everything she could to get to the top step, but came up a bit short on the weekend. She did show that there's a big gap between herself and everyone else in the field. Which takes us to the top spot, which is held by none other than Carolyn Manny. With two wins at GoCross, Manny has now won four races in a row and six out of the last eight in Roanoke. She's the reigning USCX champ and looks like she's off to a good start to retain that title. Carolyn Manny, number one in the CX Heat Check Power Rankings. All right, while you take a second to screen cap that top 11 and post it on Instagram, 
we're going to move over to the men. The 11th spot for the men wasn't as much a wild card as it was a fight between many really close racers. But in the end, it was Brandon, two A's, no E's, fix, that claimed the spot. His 11th place in the C1 sealed the deal and his solid 15th in the C2 helped the cause. But, but just know, Brandon, just know this, I almost made an executive decision and gave the spot to Lily. And in the 10th spot, it's Tyler Clark, the other Canadian. He's definitely not our second favorite Canadian, but for all we know, he could be our favorite. I don't know. But what I do know is he finished 10th in the C1, 11th in the C2, and had a solid weekend. Ninth place finisher in the heat check is Andrew Strohmeyer. A solid seventh place finish in the C1, followed by some fireworks early in the C2 before a phenomenal sizzle at the end did enough for Stroh to get into the rankings. And slotting in at number eight is Jules Van Kempen. Ninth in the C1 and eighth in the C2. Kilojoules was killing it. I, look, here's the deal. You, you just boo now. Just boo, leave a comment, whatever you want to do. The dad jokes have just started. I'm just warming up. You guys are just warming up with yelling at me. It'll all work out. But let's let's keep going. In the seventh spot, Drew Dillman. Dizzle is coming into the season with fast legs and a top shelf flow. When it comes to being the cyclocross lettuce king, Dizzle is in the conversation and Lance Hated, who we haven't seen this season, better just be watching his back, or at least the back of his hair. The sixth spot goes to Caleb Swartz. The second year elite was sniffing around the front of the race throughout the weekend before ending up sixth on both days. So th this one's really a no brainer. He naturally has to finish sixth in the heat check. That's, that's how these things work. Which brings us to our top five. And in fifth place on the CX Heat Check Power Rankings, it's Michael Vanningham, our second favorite Canadian. As I mentioned before, we haven't really figured out who the first one is, but Vanningham, without a doubt, and for always, second favorite Canadian. Fourth place in the C1 and fifth place in the C2 after kissing the planks, MVDH will be looking for more in Rochester. In fourth place, it's Curtis White. A little bit of a surprise here. Slower than expected start to the C1 race left Curtis scrapping all race long. He ended up fifth on the day and came out fighting on day two. Fell back to third on Sunday after throwing all his money on the table with a few laps to go. Looking for Curtis definitely to be moving up in the power ranking. But the third spot right now is Kerry. Don't call him Kenny or even Jerry Werner. Kerry was out to prove that even if he won't be there week in and week out, he's still a force to reckon with between the tape. The whole shot on day one and an eventual third place finish showed the guy still got it. Another strong race and fourth place finish on day two means those below him will be happy to see him hit the gravel circuit next week. In second place, it's your current national and Pan Am champ, Eric Bruner. Blue Brew, he wasn't messing around all weekend. He was in it to win it and was really close to cracking the code on Vincent Bastens. Bruner took the Belgian to the wire both days, coming up a little short in the races and consequently coming up a little short in the power rankings. And since I already tipped my cards, it's no surprise that Vincent Vinny B. Bastens is on top of the CX heat check. I know in the past, and this will happen again, we've always said, you know, when all the Euros come over, they sort of get like shoved out of the heat check because we like to keep it fresh for the domestic guys. But Vinny's kind of like a domestic guy now. He races here a lot, so we got to put him in the mix. He's undefeated in the USEX and kept the streak alive with two wins at Go-Cross. He's strong, but he's also savvy. So we may see him continue to win unless this North American crowd figures him out. And there you have it, the first edition of the CX Heat Check Power Rankings for 2022. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Wide Angle Podium Network. Cyclocross friends.